This is an exciting time. Uh, HTML5 is coming into its own uh, with support by all of the major browsers, including Internet Explorer, which will um, hopefully come out with IE9 within the next couple of months. Um, and, and it's here, and it changes everything. Just as, say, seven or eight years ago, search changed everything, now HTML5 is changing the way we think and build websites. For one thing, um, it opens up web development uh, by giving new features, uh, new features that help organize the content in the page and make them more findable for search engines. At another level, it provides new elements that finally incorporate all of the ad hoc media solutions that we had lived with for 10 years, uh, flash players, um, to do anything other than images. Well, now we have built-in audio, we have built-in video, and we have a built-in application playground called the Canvas, which we can draw things on or load video and images into them and manipulate them in real time with lots of control. So all of this is now in HTML, and it's all supported by the current browsers, even though the standard is years ahead of us, everybody's on board, which is great. And uh, that means a lot of exciting new things we're going to see. Um, just search the web for HTML5 demos or Canvas demos, and you'll find some just amazing sites. Content is king, and everybody says this, but it really has a deeper meaning because not only are we providing more and more information over the web, we're providing it in different formats. And whatever we put on the web, we now have to think about it, how it's going to be used in different ways, how it's going to appear on people's smartphones, how is it going to appear on people's tablets and TV sets, as well as on a PC with a keyboard and a mouse in front of you. But it also has to be structured so that it is findable, that um, it can be properly indexed, because the web is huge now. I mean, there is everything for everybody out there, and that is a real challenge um, to find the right piece of information that you're looking for, that anybody looks for. Next to content being king, one might say that conversation is queen because it is not only the content we publish out there uh, in terms of static pages or posts, but it is the conversation that now surrounds that as a cloud of additional content, commenting on what we say, spreading it out through Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn, putting stuff on YouTube and then having other people put video responses. Um, and this is just it's so much, and it needs um, a good handle on it um, to understand it in its full ramifications and what it means for our changing society. 